Hey everybody, in this episode of Getting It Done Final Cut X training videos, we're talking about effects. Now, in Final Cut FX, basically we'll give you the opportunity to do everything from go to black and white, create uh, uh, drop shadows, make your projects look like aged paper, uh, create things like, say, camcorder effect you guys have probably seen in movies. Uh, make it cartoony. We've even talked about things, or you could even do things like uh, create the illusion of having uh, uh, lines on your project or on your uh, screen. Night vision scope. That's always kind of fun. Um, I'm just running through some of these guys. Nice sci-fi feel. Security camera. I've used this in several projects over the years. Like the shadows of the shades as if you're looking at someone through a window. Various masks can be at your disposal. Make it look like an SLR camera or DSLR camera. Now, there's too many of these individual, uh, individual effects to go into in particular. Uh, or to go into each and every one of them, but I just want to talk about some of the basics of effects, okay? The first thing you need to understand is this. If you're not quite sure how to use the inspector yet, if you don't feel entirely comfortable with it, then effects may end up giving you more grief than you're ready to handle. So I would say go back, watch the uh, video on the inspector, and make sure that you feel really, really comfortable with how to do things like, say, making adjustments and keyframing um, different things in the inspector. That's going to come in very, very handy when you're talking about effects because basically all that you're going to be doing is adding uh, inspector elements to these individual clips. Okay? Second, these are very similar to the generators we went over uh, in one of the previous videos. They are CG elements that are basically just layered over the footage that you already have. So they're computer generated and they can do a variety of very cool things, but you do need to understand that they are something that can be turned off and turned on and added or subtracted or even layered up on top of each other. So it is entirely possible to add aged paper and 50s TV as well as some 3D elements and color correction all on the same uh, clip. The final thing I want to talk about uh, before I get in and show you how to do this is it may seem at first, and I hope you guys are still with me on this, it may seem at first that effects are just fun things to play around with. And in some cases, that is true. But there's also some things like, say, color correction that is one of the most helpful tools that any professional videographer has. In fact, there are people that make their entire career simply working in color correction. And this is an effect in Final Cut. Not in all, all nonlinear editing programs is color correction considered an effect, but definitely in Final Cut, this is where you find it. So, I've had some students in the past ask me, well, previous versions of Final Cut have had color correction, but I can't find it anywhere um, in the new version. Well, it is there, and it's under, uh, under effects. So, we'll talk about that in the next major section of training videos, how to do color correction. But for now, let's just talk about some basic, uh, adding some basic uh, effects. For example, let's add aged film. All you have to do to add aged film or any other effect is this. Find the, the uh, clip that you want to add it to. Grab aged film or whatever your effect is. Drag it to that clip. You'll see that it becomes highlighted and drop it off. It will take it just a couple of seconds to load that on, and now your effect is available there. Once it's on, you'll notice that in your inspector under video, if it's a video effect, 
You'll also notice, by the way, you do have audio effects as well. So if you want to add echoes or voice modulation, um, even things like basic gain to your, uh, to your audio levels, you can find those there as well. But if we're doing a basic video effect in your inspector, you'll notice that it has appeared under video. And I can say I want more or less of this effect. I can also go through and adjust things uh, that have to do with um, this effect. In this case, add more scratches, add more dust maybe, uh, do whatever I want to really with this. So we'll say that's what it is. Now, that can be a lot of fun, but the next question that uh, you should be thinking if you've played around with this at all is, Okay, I totally get this. I'm, it makes sense to simply drag and drop, but what if I wanted to add this to my entire project? How in the world do I do that? Or do I have to literally make those adjustments every single time? Well, there's a quick and easy way of adding this effect to all of your project, and it goes back to some of the things we've talked about before. You would simply select the clip that you've added the effect to, and then you would copy it. Command C. Then you would select all the other clips you want. I'm going to select them all. Command A. Now, what we're about to do is copy the effect onto these other clips. So we don't want to duplicate the effect, which means we want to deselect the clip that we originally set this up on. That would be Command and then click to deselect the clip that it's already on. Once we've done this, we go to Edit, Paste Attributes, because we want to be able to select the attribute in particular. Paste Effect is kind of um, it is kind of a fast and sloppy way of doing this. Paste Attributes gives you the option of pasting anything you want from one clip to all others. Now you're not pasting the actual clip; you're actually just pasting the aged film effect, or a volume level, or a certain scale, or if you've cropped your film in a certain way, you can actually add that crop to a variety of other um, to a variety of other clips. In this case, all I want to do is add the aged uh, film to all my other clips, 11 of them in fact, and paste. Now that I've done that, I've got aged film exactly formatted as I did with 64 here, all the way through my entire project. And it's very quick, very easy to do. Anytime I want to take it out of a, um, of a clip, I can simply click that clip, move up to the inspector, select Age Film just by clicking on it, and then hit Delete. And aged film has now disappeared from this clip. All the rest of the clips have it except for this one. If I want to undo, command Z, as in zebra or zeta. Okay? So that's just a little bit of basics about how to use some of the effects. Now, later on, we're going to get to how to use some of the more helpful uh, utilitarian effects like color correction and some photo effects that might come in handy for you. But for right now, I would suggest playing around with your effects and make sure you understand how to add them to clips and how to uh, copy them throughout other parts of your project. That's going to come in handy later on.